Scientists say that there is no other material, be it natural or artificial fiber, which could be a replica of chrysotile. This is what makes it unique. Nevertheless, there are few places where it is produced. Europe considers chrysotile to be one of the hazardous kinds of asbestos, amphiboles. No explanations are given on the subject. That is why the countries with well-developed chemical industries manufacture the so-called chrysotile substitutes. Here are some artificial materials that are used as alternatives. PVA adhesive, ceramics, glass fibers, basalt with natural substitutes, cellulose and other fibers. However, none of these alternative fibers is able to replace chrysotile asbestos with all of its unique features. Asbestos is unique, both in its physical and chemical properties, and apparently it seems impossible to find alternatives which could duplicate all its properties in total. More than that, they all lose out to chrysotile in their quality as well as their cost being much higher. The difference in price between 5 and 15 times is not a joke. Obviously, it's not easy to sell this product. This makes the manufacturers of substitutes stick to the following motto, all moves are good if they can beat the competitors. There are many other carcinogens, no less hazardous nor more potent than asbestos in the world. But for some reason, there is less turmoil about the uses of them than those of asbestos. This is what causes my surprise and apprehension. It's something that upsets me. Not so long ago, the results of scientific research showed that all the substitutes have a certain level of biological activity. They produce a negative impact on living cells. Thus, it takes 60 days to get ceramic fibers out of the human body. The period of total depletion for aramid fiber takes 90 days. For cellulose fiber, a thousand days. In comparison, it's possible to completely deplete chrysotile within 14 days. No epidemiologic research has been carried out on the subject. The objective of these studies would be to determine possible danger to human health. This means one thing. The use of under-researched chrysotile substitutes is like playing with a bomb that is about to explode. We do not support the ban on asbestos, but we support its safe use and proper monitoring of it. That means of the environmental content. In my opinion, those countries which have now banned asbestos will eventually return to the possibility of its use, either partial or full use. For more than a decade, Scientists have managed to prove that chrysotile is the safest fiber among similar materials and artificial substitutes.